threat landscape has changed a great deal over the last two years. Based on statistics, 6% of all global cybercrime is directed at Canada, which is a big deal because we are one of the top countries which is being impacted by cybercrime. In addition to that, what we've seen is that cybercrime is manifesting itself due to a variety of triggers. And those triggers can be state-based uh, geoconflicts uh, and state-based threat actors uh, trying to profit or prove a point. And these other tr triggers are also third parties. Third-party compromise can really affect a lot of organizations and it's becoming really important for organizations to look at their overall ecosystem when it comes to third parties and related threats. We saw this in the case of Log4j, and this is something the, the organizations have to get a good handle on in order to secure themselves. Last but not the least, ransomware and attempts to extort money, double, sometimes even triple extortion is being seen rampantly. Moving forward from a Canadian threat landscape perspective, we're no longer out of the eyes of the, of the criminals. The 2022 outlook should be about building trust, establishing resilience, and also looking at the overall value chain within the organization. And then thinking about how cyber has an impact to these elements in the organization and how it affects the business. From a perspective of 2022, we are seeing a prediction of heightened cyber attacks, such as ransomware, other kinds of malware, heightened third-party risks, as well as increased attacks on the overall supply and digital ecosystem within the organization. It's very important to look at cybersecurity very holistically and look at all the factors that can affect your organization and be prepared to uh, assess them, protect against them, detect them as well as respond and recover against them as well.